A very good morning to you. My name is Gerard and in this channel I try to take a passage from the gospel and make that applicable in today's times. How what we can learn from that passage of the gospel. I'm not a theologian and what I say may not have a theological bearing, but this is my own interpretation. Now today's gospel, Jesus talks about how John's disciples and his disciples do very different things. And uh, he says that the time will come when his disciples will have to act in a different way. But it relates to the fact that we, as individuals, as much as we like to have a large audience of appeal, we can't. We will have those who like us and those who despise us. And we can work towards making our, our audiences larger. But how much, no matter how much work we put in, there will be those who just don't, uh, are not able to relate to us and don't find us appealing to their tastes. Now, Seth Gordon is a very famous author and he writes and talks about entrepreneurship and recalls a time when he was working with Zig Ziglar and he was giving a talk. And he, he looked at one person in the audience and he realized that person wasn't paying attention. And he complained to Zig Ziglar and said, look, why is this not paying, this person not paying attention to what I'm saying? He, he's, he's, I'm trying all my best to get his attention, but he's just not paying attention to me. And Zig Ziglar told him this, he is just not your audience. You can try whatever you want, but he is just not your audience. So let us remember today that no matter how good we are, how famous we are, and how much we try to appeal to everyone, there will be a segment of the audience that just doesn't, don't find us appealing and we cannot take that personally because we're all different, we all appeal to different people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 2 verses 18 to 22. One day when John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, some people came and said to Jesus, Why is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples don't? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of fasting while the bridegroom is still with them. As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they could not think of fasting. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. And then, on that day, they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth and an old cloak. If he does, the patch pulls away from it, the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. And nobody puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will bust the skins and the wine is lost, and the skins too. No, new wine, fresh skins, the gospel of the Lord. So how can we learn from this? What? How can we use it in a practical way? We are all, some of us are leaders, all of us are leaders in our own way. We have people whom we influence. How we can learn from this is, there are certain people whom we just can't touch. And if we, if we can see that this person, I'm just not getting through, then try and get somebody else to get through this person because this person is just not your type. So let's not be discouraged by people whom we can't influence, but just understand that certain people are just not your type and get other people to deal with them. And that is my thought for today. Have a good day.